Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, be back with you once again for another edition of Wheel of Fortune right here at MPG Productions. Glad you could join us here once again. Alright, we've had some fun with this. We're gonna keep on keeping on. Let's switch things up now. We're gonna go with an easy player and a medium player today. So we got Veronica, and we got Jack, and we got some more puzzles to solve and a lot more spinning and winning to do. So let's get right into it and let's play. Do it. First toss up of the day, of course, was $1,000. Category is a phrase. Again, thank you so much for continuing to spend part of your day here with me at MVG Production. I hope you're going to have a good day here. Um, so this is a little fortune. Uh, this next session of recording from me, I think I've got like three or four of these planned. I don't know. So, again, I, tr I do a lot of group tapings for some of my videos, like, all at the same time. Just on the fact that I kind of have a busy schedule. And it gets, it gets a little complicated trying to fit uh, five videos a week in in certain times. So, you kind of have to plan it out and make things work for you. As I saw, George Washington University is a proper name. And like I said, that's how like some of the solo projects get done. Uh, some of the game shows that you see, the weekly ones, they usually get done on a weekly basis. And some of them give me like, um, really? Did I do this again? Oh. I, I, I got a story to tell y'all here in a second. Let me finish my thought first, what I was saying earlier. Uh, some of these get done, like I said, rapid succession, back to back. And then some get um, done on a bi-weekly basis, just depending on my player schedule, the test that I play, and what my personal schedule looks like. So, that's uh, how those worked out. But the story I had to tell you on this one is, um, it has officially been... The Curse of Wheel of Fortune, and as of lately for me, I have not had as much fun playing this game. Not not just this particular series here on my channel, no. I mean, I'm talking Wheel of Fortune in general. Here's the reason. The last few times that I have played Wheel of Fortune with some of my friends on our Discord server, and just some people in general that just want me to see how good I am as a host of playing Wheel of Fortune, the last two few times that I have played, my very first spin has come up either a bankrupt or a loser every single time. And you don't understand the level of frustration and the level of how angry that makes you as a player. That you're like, alright, new puzzle, first chance to get on the board early, first spin out, you fail. And then if it works out in certain ways like the other two players behind you know it, like I just did there. The other two players behind you know their puzzles or they just keep picking letters and they to solve it. You don't get to touch the wheel again for potentially up until like possibly the earliest round three. So it's like... It's beyond frustrating to try to win when you're sitting in that first spot. That's why for the longest time I've always been the guy that has said like if you ever got on the show if you want to be in that red position, that's the lucky position, that's the one you want to be in, not necessarily. It doesn't matter now because of the toss-up rule, because whoever wins the second toss-up is the one that goes first. But basically, if it's traditional Wheel of Fortune, like old school style, where the red player always goes spins first, give me the yellow spot all day long. The yellow spot means as soon as they mess up, I get to come in and clean up, and I get to call it the start of the next round. And Super Nanny Joe Frost is the winner, is the puzzle solution there, as we move into our jackpot round. So, see, there's a strategic advantage to that at that point. We look at the next puzzle the category, this one is a landmark, and we go on again. So, see, she just solved that puzzle. She's got, um,. Actually, no, I don't think it was Veronica solved it. Was it, um, 
That is one of the one of the other players consulted. I really I wasn't paying attention. I was kind of chatting. But yeah, one of them solved it, and now she immediately gets to come up behind and try to play cleanup and pick up the next puzzle as well. Alright, Jack was the one that solved it. He got the 20. Alright, so he's in the lead right now. We have a $3,500 space on the wheel. The jackpot's in the wheel. Landmark is the puzzle. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but let's throw that out there. And Jack right now is killing. And... Needless to say, to kind of put a wrap on my story, yeah, Will of Fortune has not been my friend as a, as a contestant. As a host, it's fantastic. Because I give them fair, I give a lot of my contestants fair puzzles and fun with them. But as me as a contestant playing either Big John's Will of Fortune or uh, my friend Mark's uh, Daytime Wheel, which you can check out on his uh, YouTube channel, just search for Mr. Mark Leota. You'll find it there. Uh, but either way, either one of those, not had any luck on wheel. And I'm not having much luck on this wheel either, because Jack is stealing them all. The Los Angeles trying on his tour, and picks up another 1350. Gives him 4250 as we now move into the mystery round for this game. Category's proper name this time, and Jack should get started. Yeah, I've got to get 4250 or better right now to have a chance to get back in this game. Especially before he hits that 3500, because if he hits that 3500, that's ball game. Quite frankly, I'm in a position right now where I can't afford to hit any more bankrupts. So, we need to actually play the game and try to get some money out of this one. Alright, let's go T. There's a T. Let's go again. We have money, folks. We have to have money in our bank. We're going to see if we can hold on to it. No, 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 no. Really? Ugh. I already said this was a bad idea. Just, just, just the fact that I'm like, hey, let's record another session of Wheel of Fortune Day. It'll be a, it'll be a, have fun. It's a great day. Um, bad choices and bad mistakes were made, to say the least. But... What can you do at this point, I guess, other than just be absolutely, COMPLETELY FRUSTRATED AND ANGRY? Anyhow. Oh, look, oh, look who just hit 3,500. Isn't that nice? Uh, now, I'm, I'm honestly, at this point, I'm just waiting for him to finish it off. Okay, done. Ha! 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 Now, normally in this situation, with several people would uh, play, I'd have compassion and sympathy for them, for those that land on the backup stage. But when I'm playing against computer, no sympathy, no, no nothing. So it's like, you get nothing from me, and now I'm just trying to play catch up. Okay. I know the puzzle, and I'm playing catch-up right now. I need a decent amount. It doesn't have to be big. It just has to be decent. No, 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 no! Really? Oh! Oh my god, how many bankrupts is that? Because I've lost count. Just seriously. Just, just, I kind of want to solve it just so this episode's over. Because, oh my gosh. I do so well in these games for a little while, and then all of a sudden, just, it, it fails. I fail so hard. All right, please, just, just, just solve it. Kill it. No, he's going to be three bastards. Uh, just, just. I have one chance. I need to spend 3500 If I spend 3500 I got two shots at it. If I can spend a $3,500, i have got this game. Actually, no, I take a lot. I got three chances at it. Alright. 
Going for a skill spin here. And 900's not gonna do it. Alright. Actually, 900 now would do it. He. You know what? Solve it. Soccer star David Beckham. And by a miracle of God, thank God for that two. I for almost forgot about the $2,000 toss up I got earlier. 52.50 is enough to, for me to win the game. We're out of good nothing. Jack of 42.50. I win by a thousand bucks, folks. Let's play that bonus round. Phrases the category. Here's a spin. Alright, there's the bonus envelope. Let's start with the RST L N and E. Let's see. I should feel like I should know this. Um, we go H D M O. On the threshold. Got it. How much did I win? $25,000. All right. After a rotten, rotten game of Wheel, I managed to turn this one around, finish with $30,250, making my series total now $1,287,150. <sighs> After such a rotten game, how the heck I managed to win that one, I do not know. But anyway, folks, that does it for us here on this episode of Wheel of Fortune. Uh, remember, if you like this series and want to see more of it, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVP Productions. And until I get some water, take about a five-minute breather and try to record the next episode, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time for more Wheel of Fortune. Take care. Bye for now, folks.